Tech talk. 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 You're watching the best of Tech Talk on Channel 34. That's correct. Yeah. Of the church mm -hmm. as a whole. Yes. I was unaware that the church had a robotics division. Most people are. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, this is something that's been a secret, or <laughs> it's no secret. No, we make no secret about it. It's been uh, a part of the Vatican for 400 years. <laughs> and now on Tech Talk, we'd like to check in with Dan and our countdown to DOS 4.01 being released in stores. Dan. 16 days, 14 hours, and 27 minutes away. <laughs> Pretty exciting, huh? It is. Yeah. What do you see as the biggest difference between the 4.01 and the 4 that you're excited about? Well, it's obvious to any DOS user, it's DOS Shell, which is a GUI interface. It allows the users to do two things they couldn't do before. I okay. know that. Obviously, I know. I told you that. All right, we'll check back with Dan soon and the countdown to DOS 4.01 being in stores. Thank you, Dan. We uh, use a system called the ARPANET right now. It's a way to share information uh, similar to the telephone. You can share information with people who live in, uh, say, Wyoming, and they live in a, a shack in the woods. Uh, but they have a computer. But they would have a computer. In the future, we all will have computers. So this is actually a way of communicating. You, from one individual terminal, you can send information through a mainframe, and then that information can be shared through other totally respective computer terminals. Absolutely. Individual That's terminals. Absolutely. It's like a telephone, but you're actually typing information. You can learn about how the Holocaust happened, or you can learn about uh, how, to, how, to, how, to, how to build a, a model airplane, or you can learn about how the Holocaust never happened. I mean, there, there is a myriad of you know, information right, possibilities. I, yeah, yeah. Just, I guess it's a curious example to give about how information is shared, because the Holocaust did happen. Well, it? that's debatable. Our next guest on Tech Talk is uh, sex expert Alan Sturbin. Uh, he wrote the book Sex Face 80, the new face of sex in the 1980s. Let's welcome Alan Sturban. Alan, Thanks thank for you for coming. Um, so you just uh, released your book, Sex Face 80? Yes, the changing face of sex in the 1980s. Sadie. Sex face, mm -hmm. what is that? Uh, well, it's funny, uh, while I was working on the book, uh, coming up with titles, I, uh, my wife said uh, sex face is, for me is but uh, that's not what I meant when I when I wrote the book. It's not the face no, that you have while you No, you're what having... I meant was the way sex presents itself to us. Its face is uh, different in the 80s than it was, say, in 1978 or 1977. And that's a conclusion that you come to how? So much research, it took up uh, two recipe boxes. I was with Sheila Pelligri for a while. Yeah, I mean, you don't even, didn't even date her. You just worked with her a little bit. I mean, you were there, and she, but that wasn't really a date. That was just like a party with a lot of people. I was there when you said, and then you said that that yeah. was a date, but it wasn't, because Sheila told me it wasn't. I mean, she said you didn't even ask her on to the party. You both were just at the same party. That's not a date. Well, we were there together. I, I, I talked to her for a while, and... Was I thought it was really good. Yeah, but you didn't go out with her after that. At the time, she was dating Dave Banyan anyway, so it doesn't... She had a boyfriend. Dave Bannett doesn't... Oh, he's like an ape. <laughs> but I know, but that's not the point. It's not about him. I'm saying it was about you. They had the same problem in college, too. Tech talk. Tech talk. Tech 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 talk. Tech talk.
Our musical guest today on Tech Talk is an innovative young band called Electric Dreams. Electric Dreams, take it away. Watching the best of Tech Talk on Channel 34. Tech Talk. 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 You're watching the best of Tech Talk on Channel 34. So tell us exactly what is DF Technologies? DF Technologies is a company I founded um, two years ago uh, to capitalize on virtual reality technology and specifically to use that uh, in order to let people experience um, the ability to die fucking. That's what the DF stands for? That's what for. the DF stands for. The device is specifically designed for people who are dying. Yes. I Yes. Is it limited to that, or can people use it for uh, if they're not? Yeah, there's no. I mean, there's no technical reason it would be limited to that, but it is. Well, that's what it is designed for: is for people who are about to die. And how did you come upon the idea for the device? Well, actually, it's a um, it's a personal story. Um, it was my father's final wish to uh, die inside a woman, die fucking, and uh, so I wasn't actually able to make that happen for him uh, in time. How did he pass? He passed from a heart attack, um, but he had made it clear that that was his There wish. wasn't a heart attack during sex? No, no, it was totally unrelated, so, but he had said to us that's how he wanted to go if he, if he was to go, and I just wasn't able to make it happen, so I felt like if we could use the technology that's coming available these days to, you know, make it possible for other people, that'd be great. So, this is the uh, die fucking. So the machine actually, it's very loud. Yeah, it is very loud. That's something we're definitely working on. But So uh, the sound is coming from this part? It's of yeah, let's might as well talk about this now. This is the compressor module. It's hot. It will get warm when things start to get a little more intense. And how long can the device operate at one time before it shuts? It's, uh, it can do about 30 minutes. You can see it's getting a little louder. It's getting more intense. Yeah. Um, it, you can do about 30 to 35 minutes, depending on the intensity of the program. So he's uh, having uh, seeing sexually explicit images through the goggles right now. Through the goggles, 3D, completely immersive. And now what he's seeing is a horse fucking midget. So he's ejaculating. Yeah, that does. Let me just. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That looks like. Yeah. I just look. I, you know this about me. I've never felt comfortable around women. Okay. I don't know how to talk to them. It's that simple. I just don't. I don't know what to say. I get nervous and I get quiet, and then some big dumb Neanderthal walks in. Well, what if you talk to them about computers? Well, they don't like computers. I'm sure there are women out there who do like computers. People I mean, we work I've, with like computers. I I've talked to someone. 
different BBSs. I can't talk about this now, obviously, because I'm in the middle of the show. Okay. Okay. We'll check back with Dan. You're being asked. Did you? Okay. Wow. I'd like to introduce you to the Lazarus 12. Hello. Okay, he can't hear you. But it's the first incarnation of a robot that believes in God. And how does it process that information? Well, various algorithms are programmed into the computer. I can go ahead and ask anything. This is how we communicate with the Lazarus 12 right here. So you're asking it, do you believe in God? And this takes a couple of minutes. But... Uh, uh, the proce okay. processor is a little slow. It is a little bit slow. It's, but, but it is, it's blinking. Mm -hmm. It says yes. Yes. So it answers the question, do you believe in God? That's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could have programmed, I guess, the computer to respond in the affirmative to any question. Is that, but... We could have. We didn't. That would be uh, taking the easy... Tech talk. 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 You're watching the best of Tech Talk on Channel 34. How did you do it? I, it's quasi scientific, I would say. I I do a lot of anecdotal research. I hang out in bars. Um, and I ask people just, you know, what are you up to sexually? Uh, how, how have things changed for you, I ask. Sometimes people are a little rude, but sometimes people uh, will be rather forthcoming and talk and talk, depends on how drunk they are. And mo so most of the, the information, the sources are just regular people. Yeah, there's a guy named Gary. And how, how had sex changed for Gary in, in the 80s, and how does it reflect our, well, our you know, culture? Well, he broke up with his wife, and he was, you know, uh, you know he's a good-looking guy. Got out there, you know, played the field a little bit, made it happen. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, that's one personal story. How many do you include in the, in the book? Oh, I mean, I, I, I call from several interviews uh, you know, I don't have an exact count in my head, but over ten. Okay. And that all the, all those together reflect a much broader idea of how sex has changed mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It, there's not just personal stories of people who are. Well, when you have enough personal stories, it becomes a universal story, doesn't it? And what what do you find that all these people? How does it connect? They connect in, th in the three main themes. They connect in new attitudes, new technologies, and new experiences. Could you be more specific about that? New, new attitudes, we, we discussed briefly. Mm -hmm. new, the technologies, like the answering machine thing we talked about, and new experiences, which is that once you've enabled those new attitudes and those new technologies, your experience of it is different. Your sexual experience is different. And that's specifically different now than, let's say, in the 70s? I'd say so. I would definitely say so. Tech Talk. Tech Talk. Tech, 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 talk. Tech, talk. You're watching the best of Tech Talk on Channel 34. See, you because, have to leave my show. Because we have because a the Holocaust opinion. did happen. Because the Holocaust did no, happen. No, it did not. In your mind, it happened. I happen to be Jewish, and the Holocaust did happen. You have to leave. What does that have leave. to do with that? Go. You being Just get Jewish. off. Get off my show. That is no. Get that is off my show. No, 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 I get will off. not leave your show. You Please, invite get me to off. Go. I said get I, off. I will I not said leave. go. You know what? I'm Just not go. Leaving. Yes, you. Then I'm leaving. Thank you. He put in what is your name? I. This never happens. <laughs> what are you doing?
Right. No one wants to hear about my bathroom and the fact that I live with old men. No one cares. <laughs> but you do. You live with like 12 old men, basically. That's sad. You know what's sad is that, is, is that MS-DOS 4.01 isn't out yet. Whatever. That's you sad. spend all your money on computer stuff, and maybe you should just take some of that money. So sue me. I'm not out murdering people. Would that be better? <laughs> but that's not the analogy. The point is, is take some of your money that you're spending on getting computer monitors and programs and get an apartment with a bathroom. And you're not, you don't have 12 80-year-olds as your roommates. I never see them. I'm never there. You do see them. I was there when you were taking a shower and you came back into the room. That's why I told that story. Because you're like, I'm going to go take a shower. And you have a thing like you're in camp where you take your soap. He has a thing where he has a soap dish, like a plastic soap dish. He has to t You leave. You leave. Fine, I'll leave your show, your piece of shit show. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't, don't know what you're talking and about. You're rude. It never happened, buddy. Get out. Never. Get out of here. It never Get out of here. here. Get out of here. I have friends here. Get out, Jewish. sir. Get out. Do I have to call someone to get you out? Oh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Uh, that's all the time we have for Tech Talk this week. Uh, uh, we'll see you next week on Tech Talk.